Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have encoded the password to Base64 method to secure the credentials of the registered user. Now we are going to create a decode method. So first of all, I will copy this, stop the execution. and name it as decode here we have the decode method here we have the decoded password so we have uh, I can say this is encrypted data okay now remove this all first of all I will use system tax UTF-8 encoding method or library system dot text dot utf8 encoding encoder it is the totally reverse of encoding if you want to decode something so now I will create the same but use a decoder Okay, is equal to get decode. Now we need to create a byte array. In this byte array, I will decode data. convert dot from base 64 string and here we have the encrypted data now char count is equal utf decode dot get char count okay in this char count we will pass the code byte dot the count is starting from zero then we need to decode byte length so here is decode byte dot length and this length will help us to identify up to where uh, this loop will be work now we need to create some characters char and here we will say decode char is equal new char and here we have char count now here is the real part to decrypt the information UTF decode 8 dot get char decode byte 0 dot decode byte dot length and now we have the decoded char which is this and zero now it will convert the information De decrypted data is equal new string now here we have the decoded char And now we need to return this. Uh, 
okay and here if we have error then it is in the code okay now it will return us the decoded information there are two possible ways to match the login credentials either you will pass the encrypted information and match that on database end or either you can get password from there and encrypt that here with the decrypted string okay we will do the both ways first we will encrypt the password and send it to the database to validate for example my password was the ep3 but in database it is uh, like this so I will enter the EP3 again it will encrypt it again and match with this encrypted value if it is match then it will allow me to log in again encryption happen and it is hitting the database and matching the encrypted value and both encrypted values get match that's why uh, it is able to view the dashboard okay the next methodology is to get this information then decrypt that information and match with the input password which user will input in the password you will decrypt this and then match with the normalized string to verify in the both end that it is uh, perfectly performed i hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye have fun